Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. Okay, first up, as usual, congratulations are due. Javier El Abejon Fortuna remains undefeated. I wish more people were talking about this guy. Fantastic fight on his part. Please look out for him in the future. Also, quick notable, Tommy Morrison's son, Trey Morrison, uh, still undefeated as well. 12-0 with 12 KOs. The kid's got the power. Something to look into. Not a lot of people talking about that either, sadly. A little closer to home in Blainville. Blainville BMW Boxing. It went down. I had the Tiger and Interbox had a couple of their guys, you know, basically to keep them busy and keep their pockets fed. Just a fantastic night of fights. They had some youngsters do an amateur show in the beginning and then it switched over to pro side. Pro side, we got treated to three beautiful bouts. Batir Jukabayev, Quebec's Kazakhstani King, this kid is just stuff of greatness. If you go watch the video on Interbox's YouTube page, I'll put the link in my uh, description. Whew. Wow, beautiful body work from Batir. Please look at that fight. Make sure to go check out his next fight. We'll get to that in a second. Also, Ayaz Hussein put down a tremendous KO. Uh, first, he dropped the guy, and then when the guy got back up, kudos to him for having the heart to get back up, because I don't know many dudes that would have wanted to from that punch, but he got back up, and Ayaz just put the work on him, and it was basically a standing knockout, which means the guy's out on his feet, and the ref had to jump in and save him, and thank God he did, because that would have been way worse. Standing knockout, very rare thing, but... Dude was out like a light, just standing there, zombified. So, uh, it is what it is. Ayaz got the power too, so, you know, here's looking forward to his next fight. Happy he's back in the winning circle. His brother is fighting soon. Also, check out the rest of the show to get more news on that. Last but not least, Eve Ulysses, the Black Flash, my favorite fast fighter. Ah, man, this was a dramatic fight. Uh, the crowd fell silent as he was caught. Believe it or not, who the man I call the fastest out there was caught. He got caught with a flash knockdown, dropped down real quick, got back up, recovered fantastically. The way you pray any fighter will get back up from uh, a punch where he got flash knocked down like that. Uh, you know, the, you could hear the corner yelling for him to hold on to him and whatnot, but uh, you could tell Ulysses was looking at his corner like, Ah, I'm fine, I'm good, don't worry. And man, he was more than good because he was angry. And uh, Ulysses put the work on him and basically dropped him and he didn't get back up. So, now, not exactly the perfect display of Eve Ulysses' talents. However, a great victory and a well-warranted one. He was out for a while because of an injury and uh, he needed to get the rust off of him. And this dude definitely brought it all out. Looking forward to his next fight as well. We'll get to that in a second. As far as what's going down in the Fight City and the FightCity.com this week, as usual, great articles and posts on the daily for you guys to check out. Make sure you check out the YouTube page, my YouTube page, and the Fight City's YouTube page. We put all kinds of stuff up. Also, check out our Facebook pages and obviously Twitter and Instagram. Now, uh, as far as what we got coming up real soon in the Fight City, we've got a few things coming up. The month of October in particular is going to be very interesting for us. First up... If everything works out to plan, Manny Montreal is going to be hitting the road and we're going to be going to New Brunswick. Saturday, October 15th in New Brunswick at the Atkin Center in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Brandon Brewer versus Anderson Clayton. It's a super welterweight fight. It's headlining. Brandon Brewer is an undefeated fighter. Definitely a draw in his hometown. However, the main reason why I will be attending, or hopefully attending, 
Shaquille Finn, the Jamaican juggernaut, is going to be defending his title for the very first time. It's going to be against a tough opponent, an undefeated kid. And uh, it's going to be one hell of a fight. And I'm hoping that everything works out the plan and I get to get down there and cover it for you guys. Because it deserves covering. Going down October 20th. Casino de Montreal, Groupe Ivo Michel, terrific night of fights, really cool venue, very exclusive venue. It's very, very nice. We've got a terrific night of fights. Dwayne Diamond Durrell back in action from having to wait for an opponent to now getting two opponents back to back. I am very happy for the activity for this young man. Please look into Dwayne Diamond Durrell. Also, fighting on that card, Patrice Volney, Mariev Dicker. I call her Montreal sweetheart. She is the queen of the fight city's boxing. Please look into her as well. Vishlan Dakayev, now 7-0. He's fun to watch. Look into him. 9-0, undefeated Dario Bradishian. I've talked about him a few times. I'm pretty much the first guy to talk about him in this town, and I was lucky and privileged enough to have done so at Grant Brothers Boxing. He's got just about two of the best coaches out there. He's got a fantastic team behind him. His brother's one hell of a boxer. He gets some of the best sparring around in town. Gets to go back home to sunny Florida to a beautiful family and girlfriend. It's very enviable. Plus the kid's a good looking bastard. It's tough. It's tough. 9-0 and Dario. He's going to come to our city. He's going to empty out this poor guy. Castanegro. Castanero. His pockets. You know. It is what it is. Dario some bad news. And then last but not least, the start of the whole event, the East Coast Kid, Custio Clayton, the gladiator himself, 9-0, going to be fighting a tough opponent, headlining at the Casino de Montreal. Then, the 22nd of October comes up, and the Bell Center, David Lemire's return in Montreal. Now... Obviously, we would have loved to have had the fanfare of HBO and maybe a bigger name. But I understand the boxing situations at the moment. And hell, I'm just happy that we got David Lemire fighting in this town. Now, on top of that, to reassure the rest of you that don't think that's not good enough, they stacked the card. It's a beautiful card. David Teru, Eve Ulysses back in action. Mathieu G. Time Germain. Batir Jukambayev. Back in action as well. Simon Keane. Mian Hussein. Been looking forward to Mian fighting now for a while. Gislain Manny Maduma. Gislain Maduma is going to be fighting a very tough opponent. Sismondo. Sismondo is the dude that had a very tough fight against Zirja. I am looking forward to that one as well. Then co-headlining at the Bell Center, young Stephen Butler. Big deal for a kid from here. I'm very happy for him. Now 17-0. and 0. It's going to be for his IBF youth strap. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a fantastic fight. Then last but not least, David Lemure. Christian Rios. Beautiful night of fights from Ida Tiger going down in the middle of October. Last quick mention. On that same night in Saskatoon, however, Montreal's very own Cinderella man, Frank Catroni. I call him AAA. He knows why. The kid's going to be fighting for a title. Yep, you heard me, a title. That's right. The Canadian title, the middleweight title, against Paul Bizdell. Now, Paul Bizdell is as tough as they come. We already know that. And this, this could be Frank's last shot. So, I implore all of you who are a fan of the sport, especially if you're from here, to support Frank. Because uh, it's going to be one hell of a fight. The kid's going to be up against it all. I mean, I don't think he would like it any other way. I think if it was like a hometown thing and he was the favorite to win, he wouldn't be happy. So, 
Please support Frank Catroni on his big fight, man. That's good news. Canadian title on the line. Paul Bizdell. One hell of a fight for people in Saskatoon, I'll tell you that much. Going down October 22nd. Now, as far as what's going down, as far as what we can watch this weekend, if you're watching this episode, it might already be too late, but Tuesday night, PBC, Bryant Goodfella Perella is going to be fighting Ugas. Please check it out. It will be on Fox Sports 1. Also going down this weekend, on the Fight Network, you've got RFA, Saturday afternoon, the light heavyweight WBA title is going to be on the line between Jurgen Bremer and Cleverly. Considering the deep freeze between Kovalev and Adonis, this might be a solution for either guy, so it's uh, notable or at least worth watching. It's going down at 4 p.m. in Germany if you're streaming it. Last but not least, you do have the UFC going down. There's a fight night going down. Fight night 96. That's it for me this week. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you know a friend that likes fighting, then talk to him about me. Put me out there, folks. If you like the t-shirts, then buy one. That's it for me this week, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.